My beloved love. This may be very specific, but I'm picking up on a feminine that is on a sacred purpose. And a lot of people will not understand that. A lot of people don't understand what that looks like for your soul to be guiding you somewhere and you don't resonate with things around you, but you still love these people. You still have a connection, but I can't open myself up that much. I can't share too much of what I'm going through because this is between me and God. The stage of my life is sacred. And so, these emotions, these heavy emotions that you're feeling, Divine Feminine, this is you grieving a version of yourself that no longer exists. This is you standing in a higher timeline, looking at yourself, looking at how far you've come and grieving. Maybe the people, places and things, relationship dynamics, opportunities, certain relationships, just everything that used to be so normal and so free-flowing in your life, and now you're being called to something else. Now things are shifting here, and you're in this in-between period, wondering if life will ever get to a place where it feels really, really good. And that's exactly what you're walking towards. It's almost as if your spirit guides are calling you to this sacred pause because you may be interpreting this energy as rejection. You may be interpreting this energy as, wow, I'm really out here by myself. And that's a tough place to be in when you're somewhere. You can wake up and look at your physical reality and know that God gave you something, gave you a vision, gave you a plan that looks nothing like anything that you see around you. That can be absolutely scary. One, because you don't know how you're going to get there. Two, because your entire world changed. You have to physically change into every single thing that's in your future. You have to assume that position now because that's the thing about manifesting. There is no past. There is no future. You're in the present moment. So, you automatically assume this energy, acting as if, if I want to be in this type of career, if I want to have this type of relationship, if I want to live in this type of home, if I want to drive this type of car, if I want to have this amount of money, what do I need to do to become that person? How does that person think? What does that person eat? How does that person speak? What does that person's everyday ritual look like? Do they get a... Do they go to the gym? Do they read more? You know, you really have to become that energy. And this is what your soul is calling you to do. So, trust the process. Divine Feminine. It's not, um, any type of rejection. It's not you being alone in this moment. It's literally your higher self elevating and you're grieving the version of you that used to exist because you have history with that version of you. And so, all of these heavy emotions that you're purging, Divine Feminine, allow them to come out. Journal them. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.